Okay, so I'm continuing with my playlist of every exam question that has ever been asked. And now I'm going to be moving on to volume and surface area. If you do want to use this document, it is linked in the description and it's fully hyperlinked, which means you can use all of these questions categorized by topic. Now in this video, I'm going to do the units and cuboid section. And then in the second video, I'll do cylinders and prisms. And then these might be two separate videos, but we've got then some other kinds of 3D shapes that don't fit into these categories. So there's only one question that they've ever asked before, which is about units. And it's this one here. It says, write 37 centimeters cubed in millimeters cubed. Well, normally to go from centimeters to millimeters, what we do is we multiply by 10. But if we're going from centimeters cubed to millimeters cubed, we multiply by 10 to the power of three. So there's 37 times 10 to the power of three. That is 37 times 1,000 which is 37,000. So the answer that we're looking for for this one is 37,000 millimeters cubed. And there is our answer. And this CAO means correct answer only. Okay, it says here that the diagram shows a solid metal cuboid. The areas of the three faces are marked on the diagram. The lengths and centimeters of the edges of the cuboid are whole numbers. The metal cuboid is melted and made into cubes. Each of the cubes has sides of length 2.5 centimeters work out the greatest number of these cubes that can be made. Okay, well, first of all, we're going to make these little cubes afterwards that are going to be tiny, and the side lengths of them are all going to be 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, and 2.5. Now, I think we need to find out the volume of this one, the volume of this one, and then divide them to find out how many cubes can be made. But the problem here is we don't have the side lengths. We've only got the uh, surface areas or the areas of these faces. Well, I think if we have a look at trying to work out what this length is on the side, I think we can have a good guess because we've got 45 and 15. So they both must have been multiplied by something that's in the 45 and 15 times table. Well, if it was a five here, that would mean that it was a nine here. That would be a five here and five times three is 15. And that works because then we've got the nine times three is 27. The five times three is 15 and the nine times five is 45. So I actually don't even need this bit here. I'm just gonna leave it like this. So I think we've got the three different lengths. So for the large cuboid, the volume is just those three things multiplied together. So that's nine times three times five. Now we do have a calculator, so we might as well use it. Nine times three times five is 135 centimeters cubed. Now I'm going to do our small cube. The volume of the small cube is going to be 2.5 times 2.5 times 2.5 or 2.5 cubed. So let's get the calculator. That's 2.5 cubed. It's 15.625, 15.625 centimeters cubed. So the number of cubes which can be made, number of cubes, we're going to do the volume of the large one, which is 135, and we'll find out how many of these small ones can go in 15.625. So I'm doing this divided by this. I always prefer to write it as a fraction, but you could, of course, write it with a division sign. So I'm going to do 135. It's already stored in my calculator as the answer. So I'm just going to write divided by the answer, and we get 8.64. So we get 8.64 cubes. But we can't make eight, we can't make nine cubes because we don't have enough for that. So we're going to round this. This means eight can be made. Eight can be made because you don't have quite enough to be able to make the ninth one. You can make eight and a bit. So this means that eight can be made. And there is our eight for how we came up with it. OK, the container is in the shape of a cuboid. The container is two thirds full of water. A cup holds 275 millilitres of water. What is the greatest number of cups that can be completely filled with water from the container? So a little thing I want to just say to begin with is that one centimetre cubed is the same as one millilitre. You might need to know that for this. So it says the container is two thirds full of water. First of all, let's find out the volume of the cuboid and then we'll find two thirds of that. So the volume of the cuboid is multiplying these three lengths together which is 30 times 6 times 19, and that's going to be in centimetres cubed. 30 times 6 times 19 is 3,420 centimetres cubed. So we're now going to do the volume of water. Well, it's going to be 2 thirds of, of means multiply, 
two thirds of 3,420. So I'm going to do two thirds and I'm going to multiply that because it's stored as my calculator in the answer. I can press the answer button and I get 2,280 centimeters cubed, which is the same thing as milliliters. So I want to work out how many cups can be filled, completely filled. So the cups filled is going to be the total volume that we've said. There's 2,280 divided by a cup of water which is 275. You could use the division or you could use the fraction. I prefer writing things as a fraction. So I'm going to do my answer divided by 275. Or I could write it as the answer over 275 like this. The answer is 2,280. So we get 8.29, blah, blah, blah. So it's 8.29, which means that we can have eight cups completely filled. Eight cups completely filled because obviously we wouldn't have enough for the ninth cup. Let's double check. Also eight cups. We had eight cubes and now we've got eight cups. Okay, it says here that the diagram shows a cube and a cuboid. The total surface area of the cube is equal to the total surface area of the cuboid. Janet says the volume of the cube is equal to the volume of the cuboid. Is Janet correct? You must show how you get your answer. So we're going to do the surface area of the cuboid to begin with, and that will help us work out the surface area of the cube. So the surface area of the cuboid, I'm going to have this bit at the front, which is 6 times 8, and there are two of those, because that's the front and the back. So there's 2 times 6 times 8, and I'm going to add on to that two of these side bits. Now the side bit is going to be 18 times 6, so there's two of those 18 times 6s. So there's two of the 18 times six, and there's gonna be the top and bottom. The top is going to be six times eight, and the bottom is also going to be six, not six times eight, that's completely wrong. It is going to be 18 times eight. So there are two of 18 times eight. Notice how what we've done is an 18 times six and an 18 times eight, and also the six times eight. All three numbers have been used, those two, those two and those two. So I'm just going to put all of that into my calculator. So that's 2 times 6 times 8 plus 2 times 18 times 6 plus 2 times 18 times 8. And so the surface area of the cuboid is 600 centimetres squared. So that's the same as the surface area of the cube. The surface area of this whole thing is 600 centimetres squared. So I'm going to find the area of a square face of the cube. Well, we know how many si how many faces a cube has. It's like a dice, right? So we're just going to do 600 divided by 6. So it is 100 centimeters squared, which means the side length of the cube is the square root of 100, which is 10. So the side length of the cube is 10 centimeters here, 10 centimeters here, and also, so that's 10, that's 10. It's also 10 centimeters along here. So I'm running out of space. So now I'm gonna do my volume calculations, but I'm gonna shrink this down so that I've got some extra space going on. I'm now gonna do a comparison. So I'll do the volume of the cuboid. The volume of the cuboid is going to be equal to the six times the eight times the 18. And again, that's just gonna go straight in the calculator. 6 times 8 times 18 is 864, and that is centimetres cubed. And I'll do the volume of the cube. The volume of the cube is 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. So this and this, Janet says um, that they're the same. Janet is incorrect. Pretty obvious to see. 864 is not the same as 1,000. So the answer is no, and we've got the 1,000 and the 864, so she is definitely incorrect. The volume of the cuboid is 864, and the volume of the cube is 1,000. Okay, I'm going to stop there, because the rest of this is then going to be on cylinders and prisms. So that's everything on units and cuboids to do with volume and surface area.